Hi there guys, welcome back to another really cool episode here on Alia Homes. Today we're in the canyons of Bel Air and we're about to explore this Gala Asher built house which has just hit the market at $14,950,000. A little bit more about the house, it has six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, it's sitting on a lot size of 18,772 square foot and an interior size of 9,310 square foot. But before we get started, I would like to thank the incredible listing agent, Amanda Lynn, for giving us exclusive access to her listing today. All right, guys, let's start the tour. Before we start our tour today, I would like to allocate a brief moment to chat with Amanda and gain her valuable perspective on what makes this property special and unlike any other. Amanda, tell me, you're the listing agent of this property. What's unique about it, where we are? So one of the most desirable things about this lot in particular is the privacy. We're on Bel Air Road, so you're 10 minutes away from Beverly Hills, which is really nice. You're about a mile down Bel Air Road because it's a very long road, but the privacy here is incredible. No one looks in on you. Yeah. You can only see one house from the primary suite looking out over all the greenery, which is... It's amazing. It's so plush and gorgeous right now because of all the rain we've had this year. Yeah. But I think the privacy and also the energy and the flow of the house is really nice. The lighting is incredible and it's great for entertaining, which my client has done a lot over the 10 years that he lived here. It's definitely an entertainer's house. Yeah, exactly. And I agree on the architecture inside, how it leads out beautiful indoor, outdoor yeah, living experience. Gala Asher did a great job when he built this house because the flow in California, you want to enjoy the weather. You want to have that indoor, outdoor mm -hmm. pool. And right when you walk in the front door, you get pulled directly outside to watch the privacy, enjoy the pool in the outdoor space. So I think that that's something that makes it really desirable. Yeah, definitely. And you also mentioned something about Gala Asher. Yes. He's quite popular around here? Yes, Am he's a celebrity, yeah, he's a celebrity developer now because he's married to Ginger Glass, who is also a legend. She's a top agent, mm -hmm. but um, he built Kylie Jenner's Holmby Hills house, which is about six minute drive from right. here. And he built this house in 2010. He built that house probably four years ago. That's and it's amazing. beautiful. Yeah, so he, okay. he even, he did a great job with this house, but he's continued 100%. to rise yeah. as awesome. well as his wife over the years. All right, cool. Thank yeah. you, Amanda. Of course, thank you guys for coming. Let's get back to the tour. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to start the tour right at the front of the property, heading in through the front gate on to the motor court. Now, this is a very large motor court, beautifully done. We've got a polished Caithness stone on the drive itself, massive cubes. I think it looks extraordinary. And then facing the property, we have a beautiful facade, lovely contrasting colors. In the middle, on the middle pillars, we've got a hewn Caithness stone brick laid, and I think it's fantastic, with the very large bay windows, stainless still around. And on the left and the right, polished stucco effect, giving a beautiful contrast with the bricklays in the center. 10 cars can fit on this motor court. We've got a garage over there, which can fit three. And I love the landscaping as well. Beautiful palm trees like this one over here and to my right as well. Two motorized gates to my left and my right, creating ease of access. Now guys, I think it's time we head up the steps and check inside. Stepping through the front door of this house, beautiful finishes straight away. And the first thing I notice is this lovely featured wall. We have a split face natural slate feature wall here, and I'd like to get a close up of this. It has been lasered perfectly. We've got a polished slate on top with lovely marbling effect. And within it's got the rough stone still there. I just think it's beautiful. Moving back this way to the foyer, I'd like to talk about this door, solid stainless steel door. It is super heavy. It's got a lovely brushed and satin effect on it, which I think is very cool. And stainless steel does continue throughout this house, including this mirror over here, brushed stainless steel with a satin finish. Moving this way, the flooring is a beautiful Portuguese white tiling, which continues throughout the living area downstairs. Now, the first room I want us to take a look at is the guest powder room, come with me. 
stepping on in. Lovely space, very large in here. We've got lovely textured wallpaper around, lovely single vanity station. I love the lacquered wood below and the mirror above. Great place for your guests to freshen up. Now, through this door is access to the garage, but I just wanna have a quick look inside with you. So at the back of the garage, we actually have a whole gym set up, all the equipment you need, and it does come with the house. I would just like to point that out to you guys. Now, let's go back to the hallway. So we're back in the hallway now, and I'd like to point out that this house has great symmetry. It flows this way into a formal lounge space and then outside, and to my left, it leads into the informal and kitchen area, which we're gonna go to. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this weird contraption in front of me? This is, in fact, an elevator. It works with pressure, it's completely eco-friendly. It's a vacuum elevator, um, which is pretty cool, and you're gonna see me in it later in the tour. Moving on this way, we open up into the grand dining room space. I think it's lovely in here. The chandelier above with the pearl glass effect gives it a lovely touch of opulence. I love these windows bringing in natural light. I think this is a great space to have a banquet. And of course, this lovely artwork to my left. We've got surround sound speakers throughout this house, which continue in all the rooms, all the bathrooms, and in the dining room. Now let's head this way into this open plan living space. It's beautiful in here. There's many entertainment areas, a lot of areas to sit down. I think it's great and each one is better than the next. So over here, we have the informal lounge area, TV room. I love how they've built the book casements into the wall. Great furnishings. It takes up the space beautifully. I love the vaulted ceilings above as well, which continue into the kitchen and to my left, I think this is great, adding, adding that touch of coziness, just this curtain, great cozy effect. I think it's a brilliant idea. Now, let's go over here and check out the kitchen. So to my left, we've got a freezer over here. We have two fridges in the center and another freezer, which I think is great, a lot of space. And look at the size of this kitchen, absolutely magnificent. I love the white gloss finishes on the cabinetry. I love this beautiful, very large, island right in the center with dual elevation. We've got breakfast bar seating on that side, two sinks, one over here and one over there. And just taking a look at this oven, very large, the stainless steel effect again, gas hobs, gas oven, I think it's fantastic. And we've got two dishwashers. Now, before we go through the kitchen that way, I'd like to take us in here. We've got staff quarters and the laundry room. This staircase does lead up to the second floor for staff access and through here it does constitute as one of the bedrooms of the house. We've got a staff room, as you can see it's got everything they need, built-in cabinetry, fully ensuite and secondary access, which I think is great. Now let's go back to the kitchen. Heading through the kitchen again, the vaulted ceilings above and I love the lighting, very unique. Let's move on around this way and it just opens up again. To my left, we've got a beautiful breakfast nook area, informal dining, which I think is excellent. It fits the space perfectly. Massive bay window bringing in natural sunlight. Now just imagine sitting here with your morning coffee and looking at those canyon views. Hey Chris, <laughs> it's our definitely first time in Bel Air. Yeah, no, definitely not disappointing at all. Definitely not, it's beautiful. And we're here on a perfect day. Now, moving this way. So as you can see, it opens up perfectly outside to the entertainment terrace and pool area, which we'll get to a little bit later, but you can see from here, we've got that perfect indoor, outdoor living experience. These doors are motorized pocket sliding doors. As you can see, opens up the space very nicely. Now let's head into the formal lounge area. Beautiful fireplace right in the center, encased in this brown quartzite marble, which I think is great. Lovely space, love the furnishings. I mean, it goes perfectly with the Portuguese white tiling. And in front of me over here, I love the symmetry, the artwork, the couch below, but again, the pillars, the brushed stainless steel pillars with a satin finish. Got one there, over there, another two over there, so let's head out of the formal lounge area. Behind me, this is a, the second staircase. So there's three staircases in the house. The staff, the staff staircase leading to the second floor. And we've got the back one over here, which leads to the 
home theatre, which we're going to see later. To my left, we've got a full bathroom. Also can serve as the secondary powder room. As you can see, walk-in shower, lovely white stones inside, and this serves the pool area, which we're about to explore in a moment. To my left over here, we have another bar, fully equipped with everything you need. In front of me, we've got a lovely Thermidor wine fridge, and I love the veneer, the brown veneer that they've used around, fully equipped, like I said. We've got the bar fridge here, cooling drawers as well, which I think is super cool. Now, heading over here, we'll go into the home office. This is a special space. It's done with veneer all the way around, including the desk, they've used the same veneer. And from your home office, you've got one of the best views in the world. Massive TV screen over there. The doors open up, motorized pocket in doors. And look at this view over the infinity edge pool. No, I need to stop. I'm getting ahead of myself. We're not there yet. All right, let's head out of the office and go on outside. Are we in paradise or what? <laughs> this is paradise. So a lot to talk about out here. Firstly, this house is the perfect entertainer's dream. We have so many entertainment spots and seating areas. Let's go slowly. Over here in front of me, we've got a beautiful outside barbecue area, dual elevation bar with a lovely seating. This is Alpindorada marble from Portugal. We actually saw this marble in the Iron Man Villa house. If you haven't checked that out, please do so. Look at this grill. This must be at least 50 inches. We've got fridges over here, another sink, and backyard access from the motor court. Now, heading over here, another beautiful and cozy lounge area. We've got a gas fire pit over here. We've got heating above, and I love the exposed concrete that they've left on the walls. And below me, we have this great outdoor tiling with a beautiful wooden effect, which continues around the pool area. Now look at this pool. I think it's one of the most exquisite we've actually seen on the channel. Let's just talk about it. So on the infinity edge side, it's 70 foot long, which means you can get a really good lap in. Right in the center, we've got the spa jacuzzi area, which is wrapped in a lovely ultraviolet quartzite mosaic tiling, which does continue around the pool as well. Now, for me, this pool is the highlight of the house. Why? Because it separates the house from the nature it blends in beautifully. In fact, it looks like the water is just flowing into the canyons below, which I absolutely love. It makes it feel like we're in paradise. Moving this way, we've got one of these Baja deck areas with your sun lounges in there, which I think is awesome. I, we don't ever see these in South Africa. They should definitely start doing them. I would love to just be sitting there. So imagine you're sitting, you're tanning, you're hot, you just roll into the pool. You should just roll in. I think that's fantastic. And this corner here, <laughs> I mean, that just looks beautiful. Can you get this on? Is that coming up on camera, Chris? Can you see everything? Oh, amazing. It's just, uh, it's incredible. Another lovely seating area over here, gas fireplace. I love the glass railings, which they have around. And of course they've left it as glass. So you have that seamless view beyond. Now, what's really interesting about this space and this house is the privacy. The privacy from the hedges and the landscaping, but the way it's been built on the corner of the canyon, not allowing any of the neighbors to see in, which I think is awesome. Now, through here, two things to point out. We have an outdoor shower and the pool pumps just through that door over there. Now, let's head back this way to explore the outdoor lounge area. Now, this is like semi-indoors, semi-outdoors. It's covered, but it is outdoors. Lovely seating over here. And in front of me, I think this is really cool. We've got a fireplace, a TV, and in front of me, we have a sawn split face Italian marble, which I think looks gorgeous in this space and flows perfectly with the exposed concrete above. We also have heaters, three heaters above and surround sound. All right, guys, that does finish the downstairs area. As you can see, it is an entertainer's paradise. And now it's time for me to take that vacuum elevator upstairs. I'll see you there.
All right, guys, stepping out of the vacuum elevator, we're now on the second floor. Behind me, we've got one bedroom there and two there, and light has to go this way first. To my right is the staff access to the second level from the laundry room. Now, coming this way, stepping into the third guest bedroom of the house, we've got an ensuite, which we'll have a look at first. I love the wooden tiling that they've done around on the walls. Beautiful bath and shower room over there and lovely vanity station with the darker wood tones. Now, let's head into the main part of the room. Lovely wooden flooring on this level, and just look at the space. Light, I like the white furnishings, I like the high-rise ceilings with the surround system above, and this room does connect to the other bedroom through these sliding doors, as you can see. Very cool, so you can close the space off, and they share a private balcony terrace. Let's go check this out. Just beautiful out here. I love the canyon views which you get on this side of the house as well. And on the street, they've got beautiful palm trees which you expect in Bel Air. It's just exquisite. And I love the fact that you've got canyon views on both sides of the house. Now, stepping into the other bedroom. Beautiful four poster bed. I really love those. Lovely white finishes again, the white cabinetry. And let's have a look at the ensuite. Similar finishes to the other ensuite. We have the tiles with the wooden effect again. And of course, you've got the shower, which has a really cool looking bath. Now, let's step out of this bedroom and check out the fifth bedroom of the house. I love the darker tones in here. It goes beautifully with the flooring. The mirror back wall behind the bed, opening, making it feel like the space is larger and also the lush trees that they have offering great privacy from the neighbors beyond and keeping it a lot cooler in here. Now, let's check out the ensuite. Again, same finishes as the other ensuites that we saw. Lovely vanity station with the darker tone woods and the tiles with the wood effect I think is great. We've got a skylight above and a shower with a bath. Now, let's head out of this room and go and explore the bedrooms on the other side. Back in the landing area on the second floor, beautiful skylights above, bringing in tons of natural light to the space. I love that we've got like this Juliet balcony sort of feel where we can look over the entrance to the house. Those massive bay windows, which we saw from the exterior of the property, again, bringing in tons of natural light. Really nice open and clean space. This is the staircase, which leads down to the ground floor just off of the entranceway beautifully done with the same wood right up here now the primary bedroom is behind you chris but before we explore that i'd like to go this way and explore the fifth bedroom of the house and the home theater come with me stepping into the fifth bedroom of the house beautiful lighting in here with the terrace the doors open right up they pocket into the wall and the sun just streaming in with the palm trees it actually looks beautiful over those canyons right now so the bed is perfectly situated for that and i love the walls around it's a textured wall which i think is quite elegant and in front of me over there we've got built-in dresses and a makeup table moving this way into the ensuite same as the other bathrooms We've got a veneer cladding around, which is quite nice. Single vanity with a darker wooden cabinetry below. Mirror design over here and a walk-in shower with bench seating. Now, let's just have a look at this exquisite terrace. How amazing is that? I really hope the camera's picking it up. We've got the sun just setting behind the canyons over there and the mist is rolling in. It's looking really cool. All right, so now let's check out the theater room stepping into the theatre room. This is again a beautiful theatre room. We keep seeing lovely ones. I love the furnishings. I love this, these couches. They look super comfy. And I don't know if you can tell, but the carpet and the walls and of course the couches are all color matched perfectly. Beautiful screen right in the center, great size. And I just like the finer details they've put in, putting these curtains here, which are color matched to the walls to hide the cupboards and the servers. Now, beautiful wine setup over here. The cinema room does come with a full bathroom as well. The vanity station right in front of me with a mirror, full shower and bath. And I like the cladding that they've used using the dark ash wood and the water closet to my left. So coming over this way, 
These curtains are motorized. They do open up, bringing in natural light. There's windows behind. Mini bar station. We've got a fridge. We've got a microwave for when you want to make popcorn, which I think is great, and just more storage around. And I love the veneer that they've chosen. Beautiful color. Now behind you, Chris, is the second staircase which we store, which leads down to the bar and office area. We'll just have a quick look. Lovely skylight above, windows bringing in natural light to the space, and the same wood continues down the staircase all the way to the office. And now, guys, I think it's time we go check the primary bedroom suite. Come with me. Stepping into the primary bedroom suite. I love these doors we keep finding that close off beautifully, wrapped in veneer. Now, to my left, there is one walk-in closet and to my right is another walk-in closet because again, this primary bedroom is split into his and hers. But let's just step through the main part first. It is exceptional in here. I love the size. I love the tranquil fill, the color tones and that view. It's absolutely Gorgeous. The furnishings are lovely. I love that the center of the bed is right there. So when you wake up, you're just facing these canyons, palm trees, lush greenery. Amazing. Textured wall behind the bed, which continues all the way around the main area of this bedroom. It wraps around nicely. Lovely mirror over here. And through this door is the entrance to one of the suites. Come with me. Look how incredible this bathroom is. So much space. It is a single vanity because you've got a makeup station over here and a single sink over here. And I love these, mir these lights that they have around the mirrors. Very vintage looking, very nice. Check this bath. This bath was literally made for me. Massive bay window, letting tons of natural light in. It's a two person bath with jets. It's a spa bath. You've got a TV on the wall. It looks exquisite. And a walk-in shower, very large. It's a steam shower with back jets, rain shower head above, and it's all controlled from an electric panel, which I think is great, controls the temperature, and everything you need. Now, it does continue. Nice seating area over here with a fireplace. And coming around this way, we have the water closet in here, tucked away nicely from the, uh, from the rest of the bathroom. And down here, we've got a very long walk-in closet. And I don't know if you're noticing this on the camera, but the LED strips above light up as I walk down, which I think is great. So obviously bespoke cabinetry all built in. And on this side, a very long mirror wall, which is great when you're trying on clothes. Now, I want to take us back into the bedroom so we can explore the his side of the bathroom. Lovely seating area over here. Beautiful fireplace right in the center with a massive TV above and clad it around in this lovely stone, which is textured beautifully. So let's go in to the other bathroom. Lovely electronic fireplace over there with some artwork. His side of the wardrobe, beautifully done, bespoke cabinetry and a little mini bar station with a fridge. Coming over here, water closet. And I don't think we've actually shown them this yet, Chris, but these toilets are automatic and electric, pretty fancy. Stepping on out, beautiful bathroom over here. I love this vanity design personally with the, wood, with the veneer wood cladding over here, mirror with the LEDs and check this walk-in shower. This is awesome. Very large, steam, jets, rain shower head above and bench seating. What's nice about this bathroom again is the natural light that just floods in. Now we do have a ba balcony access from the bathroom. I would just like to point this out. So we've got surround sound above with the exposed concrete and the main bedroom doors that open up to the terrace are motorized and they do pocket in nicely. Just giving you that seamless indoor outdoor flow. Moving this way, the last little spot 
that I want to show you of the primary bedroom. You have a little cozy nook here on the corner. We've got a heater above, surround sound continues, a fireplace and a TV. This is so cool. Amazing. The views from here are unreal. Chris, what do you think of this spot? I was just about to interrupt you. This <laughs> is definitely my favorite spot of the house. Why? Exclusive. You've got your TV, you've got your fireplace, and then when we look to the left, we've just got amazing views. Yes, that's right. Like the best views ever. Actually, I think this spot has the best views of the entire house because I can, yeah, it's, I can see further to the left and above those palm trees, which you can't see from the pool deck below. It's just exquisite, uh, fabulous space. I would love to be chilling here, watching a film, and watching the sunset. I can't think of anything better. All right, guys, that does wrap up the second floor. And now I'll see you downstairs. All right, guys, so that does bring us to the end of another tour here on Alia Homes, a really special one because, of course, this was the first time that we've brought you a tour from Bel Air. Another reminder, you can purchase this house at $14,950,000. And if you are interested in purchasing, just send me an email. My contacts are in the section below. I would like to give another big thanks to Amanda Lynn for allowing us access to her exclusive listing today. If you have any comments, please drop them in the section below. We would love to know your thoughts of this luxury home behind me. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. I cannot believe what happened just now. So we were actually locked out of this room for like four hours, which is why the lighting has been different in here. And it had that sunset light. <laughs> it's been driving us mad. We've been driving around to hardware stores, trying to get the right Allen keys and bolts to try to get in the store. We locked ourselves out. A gust of wind came, slammed the door behind us, and the lock was on. So we managed to eventually do it with the amazing teamwork with this twig. It took us four hours to get into this room, but we got into this room for you guys, because we cannot miss a room in the house. All right, we'll see you next time.